Welcome to Unison. Today we are going to speak like this. I hope that you are feeling well today because I'm going to share with you my cooling down practice after one of my favorite activities. So something I really like to do is to go for a run. I remember I think the first time I went for a run I was like 13 years old or something like this and I felt really good during the run, after the run, so I think it's something I love to do. If you hate running, don't worry, I think you can still get a little bit inspired by this cooling time practice. Uh, this can also probably be applied if you go with the bicycle somewhere, if you walk for a long time. Anything that makes you feel a bit heavy in the legs because one of the issues I had when I was going for a run is that I would feel super heavy in my legs. Uh, also sometimes pain in my joints, knees, hips and I would almost feel like it was making me lose flexibility and as a dancer and when I do yoga this is not something I'm looking for. So I got a little bit inspired by somatic practices and by yoga to try different cooling down techniques and I feel like now I found something that makes me feel really good after uh, going for a run so this is simply what I'm going to share with you today and please feel free to get inspired this is of course my practice you can adapt it to your body, to how you feel. Give it a go and let me know how it feels for you. And the cooling down starts right now. So I like to finish my run by walking a little bit and then when I come in, I will start to drink a glass of water. Of course, drinking water is very important, especially if you had a bit of sweating. Then I will change because as you can see, I run with the legging, but then I like to get comfortable um, in my, also to have a bit of space for my joints. And I will start with my legs against the wall. So for me, this step is really important because it's going to allow my muscles to uh, release in a different relationship to gravity. And also uh, it's really good for the, the blood. Um, so I will stay quite a long time there, um, just resting, relaxing, closing my eyes and listening to the sensations. After a bit, I will start to fold my legs um, and say I'm really relaxing, finding a comfortable way. Uh, for example, this time I wanted to open my knees to release my hips in a different way, but it's really up to you. And after a bit, I want to catch my legs and to release them in like this. Again, it's like super comfortable for the lower back and just I breathe, I relax, it's very nice. And after a little bit, again, I will want to maybe sit down, maybe move a little bit my legs around. Um, and sometimes I like to stretch to this hip opening stretching. I don't do it all the time. Just feel how it feels for you and listen to your body. Be very gentle because you can hurt yourself otherwise. And yeah, here I'm really comfortable. I'm taking a bit of time. I'm really focusing on the sensations. And when I'm done, I'm gently going to all fours and then doing a bit of downward dog because it feels good for the back of my legs and for my spine. And I like to do this sort of walking towards my hands, but for this, you have to be flexible enough um, and used to it. Then I soften my joints, my knees, and I roll up to come back to standing. And that's it. And thank you so much for watching this video, for following this cooling down exercise practice. Don't hesitate to share about your experience in the comments. Don't hesitate to subscribe, to like, to share it with all your friends. And I shall see you very very soon soon enough to keep exploring the beauty of the body have a beautiful day merci